Marvel's Black Panther movie is expected to make at least $150 million over four days when it opens this holiday weekend. There was grand fanfare for the premiere of one of the year's most highly anticipated movies, Marvel's Black Panther. A highly anticipated movie starring Chadwick Boseman is the first major superhero movie with a black lead character, a black director, black writers, and a predominantly black cast. This is really like a historical moment for, you know, to have our superheroes that look like us right here in Oakland. Black Panther, the latest heart-pounding movie by Marvel. With its all-star cast and multi-million dollar budget, more advanced sales than any other superhero movie ever. The movie finished, and I looked over at Ryan and I said, that's the best movie we've ever made. This is Wakanda. We are home. A fictional country nestled in Eastern Africa where the landscape is lush. Its capital, a postmodern metropolis. And everyone is black. This is the first major big budget film with a black director, predominantly black cast. It's 2018. This is still considered revolutionary. Yeah, it is. Setting a precedent that I think is going to be difficult to go back on, which mm -hmm. is what's exciting. The movie does a masterful job of discussing complex issues like black identity, history, colonialism, technology, globalism versus isolationism, and the future. Wakanda is a vision of what an African country could or would be if it hadn't been damaged by imperialism and exploitation. Black Panther's multinational cast comes from countries including the US, the UK, Kenya, Guyana, and Tobago. And the superpower most on display in the superhero story is blackness itself. T'Challa and Eric symbolize the historical debate between black leaders over whether to achieve progress through peace or aggression. Philosophically, T'Challa aligns with Martin Luther King Jr.'s philosophy of nonviolence, and Eric aligns more with Malcolm X's by any means necessary outlook, which largely inspired the Black Panthers. In the comic books, you have these female characters that are incredibly important to the country of Wakanda. T'Challa's worldview is the happy medium between Eric's point of view and his father's original isolationist, nonviolent point of view. Which means he's basically ending up with Nakia's point of view and doing what she's been telling him to do all along. It might have been a much shorter movie if he'd just listened to his girlfriend. Black Panther suggests that the key to a healthy community is balancing tradition and progress. That's what's so unique about Wakanda. At first, we see these beautiful natural landscapes, then it's revealed that we're looking at an extremely advanced city. So the film has a theme of Afrofuturism. It's offering an optimistic vision of the future where Black people can determine what's next for them and for the world at large. And the only superpowers we actually see in this movie all come from technology or from a natural source. The film shows that Wakanda is also strong because of the Black women who hold up their community. It's no never. Also, T'Challa warns Mabaku that if he doesn't help them, then Killmonger will come after the Jabari next. And that's a clear warning for us all about the importance of caring what happens to the communities around us, because we're all much more interconnected than we often realize. 